Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. We are on the getting started tutorials, hands-on experiences again. We are going to do we are going to practice lambda today. I want to do something a little bit more uh, exciting. So we are going to start practicing some lambda. Um, I will choose the basic cloud level. On the AVS, Amazon getting started. Uh, there are lots of hands-on practice, hands practices. You can select by topic, cloud fun foundations, compute containers, databases, dev tools, Internet of Things, machine learning, uh, storage, security, serverless, everything. And you can select a level as well. And depends how much time you have, uh, you can select by time and start practicing. I'm just going to start with this one. Let's see how it will go. It says 10 minutes, but in my experience, it just takes a little bit uh, more than 10 minutes. It's beginner level, 10 minutes, and it's free tire. So I'm just going to uh, log into AVS, sign into my AVS console, and then enter to Lambda console. Let's sign in first. Okay, I'm in my console now. Um, what's the topic? Let's see. Um, in this tutorial, you'll learn the basic of running code on AVS Lambda without provisioning or managing servers. We will walk through the, how to create a Hello World Lambda function using AVS Lambda console. We will then show you how to manually invoke the Lambda function using sample uh, event data and review your, your output metrics. Let's see. Okay. Now we are going to go to AVS console and type Lambda and go into Lambda. That's all I think. Create function. Is it a little big? Let me make it a little <coughs> okay, create function, uh, use blueprint, hello world, Python, hello name, hello world, Python. Hmm. Okay. Hello, a starter base lambda function. Um, hello world. We need to select this one as well, and then click configure. Um, hello world. Create new row from AVS policy templates. Lambda basic ex execution. Role name. Role name. <coughs> okay. Create function. all set up I think okay now runtime currently can uh, and you can uh, author your lambda function code in Java not GS C sharp go or Python uh, Python we will use Python 3.7 um, now code properties runtime settings are we going to where are we going to see code create function that's it for here runtime 
handler you can specify runtime function review code test monitoring configuration code runtime test Summit JSON. Mm, where is it? Um, runtime handler architecture. CloudWatch metrics configuration. CloudWatch metrics is already installed, I guess. Versions. Um, layers. Okay, when we click on the layers, we go here, runtime. Okay, are we going to do anything here? Invoke Lambda function and verify results. Function overview, code configure test event. File from here, configure test event. Okay. Uh, create new create new event event name hello world event. Okay. Uh, private event sharing settings. Event sharing private. Choose hello world from the template list. Template is ready. Okay, create new event, private, hello world, hello world, key value, value here, hello world. Okay, hello world, and save. On test, on the the test, hello, we have been saved. Execution results, function logs. Okay, we just needed to type on test. Instead of here, we click here. That's the right place to click. And request ID, function logs, response, hello world. Okay, and now, we are going to monitor your metrics uh, on the select monitor tab. Monitor tab here. Monitor tab. Scroll down to view the metrics lambda function. Metrics are reported through um, Amazon CloudWatch. You can leverage these metrics to set custom alarms. For, inform for more information about CloudWatch, see Amazon CloudWatch Developer Guide. Monitoring tab will show seven CloudWatch metrics. Invocations, duration, error count, and success rate. Tro throttles, throttles, async delivery failures, iterate rate and concurrent executions execu executions okay with AVS lambda you pay for what you use after you hit your AVS lambda free tire limit you are charged based on the number of requests for your functions invocation count and the time you code executes invocation duration for more information see lambda pricing okay we can monitor metrics here and in the cloud watch we can add some uh, metrics as well i guess now we can delete the lambda function does it say just going to hello world python let me see i would like to see the url there is no url here no it's not online so we don't have we haven't generated URL. okay daily weekly hourly custom 
the profiles in Code Guru, Lambda Insights, View Logs in CloudWatch. It goes to CloudWatch Console. It automatically generated a CloudWatch for us. Logs traces. And in here, create metric filter, create data protection, create con contributor inside. Okay, we can go in deeper, but I think that was all. I'm going to delete the lambda function now. We are just here and delete the function. Okay, I'm I'm going to need to delete this one as well. It's probably from my previous practices. Okay, that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be practicing more uh, and you can watch in my next videos as well. I will see you later. Bye.